Well, <clears throat> here we are, the last day of 2016, December, and uh, worth a recap on this incredible year in which we have taken uh, quite a few journeys into history and science and philosophy and uh, I've just been rethinking the uh, relationship between uh, Luther, Copernicus, the Counter-Reformation and the Flat Earth and of course some of you will know but many of you will not that the Reformers were Flat Earthers but along with this is this interesting issue of uh, Luther uh, and a Freudian slip, of course, but, you know, Lucifer. Uh, Luther uh, proclaiming solely by scripture that we know the world and know the created order. And Lucifer, uh, through Copernicus, proclaiming the sun at the centre of the universe and... Uh, the absolute sophistry that followed from the <coughs> Copernican uh, shift in uh, belief. And it's interesting that as Luther is hammering out Sola Scriptia, uh, basically the uh, reaction to this from the uh, Counter-Reformation uh, through the uh, influence of the Jesuits, uh, the attempt to dethrone the centrality of Scripture and the uh, accuracy of what was being told to man, to man, to woman, uh, about the fundamental nature of uh, the... Yeah, truth, that the earth was the footstool for God and the firmament was his throne above the firmament. Yeah, and as I think about it, a really devious plan on the part of the uh, enemies of the uh, Reformation and the return to uh, fundamentals of solely by Scripture alone that uh, God had spoken, revealed the truth of a created order and of himself in Scripture and that uh, the Counter-Reformation uh, and Copernicus if you like uh, the death of Copernicus and the publication of his uh, thesis uh, moving in tandem with uh, the Counter-Reformation to, if you like, undermine and uh, attempt to destroy the wonderful truth that Luther had proclaimed a truth without epistemological problems. And uh, from Copernicus onwards, of course, the issue was going to be of certainty and of knowing <coughs> our relationship to the created order. <coughs> Copernicus successfully set us on a course that uh, Newton gave its final touches to, that uh, the uh, ability to know uh, the nature of the cosmos of a created order uh, would not be based on scripture but just on faith and uh, that I think is actually <clears throat> one of the most critical things that uh, one can come to terms with is the uh, battleground between the idea of faith uh, without uh, scripture and scripture backing faith. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's a lot to think about 
and uh, that uh, those of you who are interested can do your own research on this, as I have, of course, with the advent of um, some new photographic equipment, I've been able to uh, give some underpinning to the contest between the globe and the flat earth and testing the globe uh, has not come out uh, too well in 2016. Right, so we look forward